Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to my channel. So, no review here today, but I thought I would make a video about all the different companies that I've been really interested in and just haven't had the chance to try yet. So, let's just go ahead and jump into today's video. So, I made an entire list of companies that I have yet to try. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the T3 Beard Company. So I went on their site and I'm very interested in their creativity, in their uh, scent profiles, the names of their products. It just really grabs my attention. Everything sounds very interesting as far as like the combination of different, you know, food items and drink items, that kind of thing. It just really caught my attention. So they're definitely on my list as far as one of the top companies that I'm really wanting to try. The next one is Tabletop Beard Co. I was actually in a live stream not too long ago and it was their live stream. It was really nice to kind of get to know the owners a little bit you know see some of their products they've got a few on there that have definitely you know piqued my interest and so I'm really curious to see you know once I'm able to get a hold of those you know how I like them and yeah see what I think the next one is five burrows grooming now this was kind of a new one for me I saw a few reviews and everything seemed really really good about them the owner actually you know was pleasantly you know helpful I actually reached out and was like hey I'd love to you know chat sometime and he's like yeah man uh, get a hold of me whenever you can so I have yet to actually reach back out to him I've just been super busy at work um, and so yeah the next one is magnanimous beard co now this one I'm very interested in their scent profiles they have an astronomical like list as far as what they offer it is just insane the amount that they offer usually quantity kind of throws me for a loop but nonetheless I'm really interested in some of their scent profiles and would definitely be interested in checking out their products the next one now this one I came across just by chance is Java beards everything coffee infused related like how incredible is that so yeah that's definitely one that's on my list i need to check that out if anyone's checked that out please let me know what you guys think next on my list is tailored beard companies now i've only checked out their site a few times but from what I've seen, they've, they've got some scent profiles that have definitely kind of, you know, made me curious. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'd throw them on the list. And uh, I'm always opening to, you know, wanting to find new products, new companies, and just see how they are. Next up, I'm really excited about this one, Top Hat Beard Co. I've spoken to the owner quite a few times now. And I'm really excited for his launch and to see what he brings to the table. I'm definitely interested in wanting to check out his products and see how they are. Next one. Now, this one is an Etsy shop. It's called Beard Addict. And I've talked to her a few times now. She posts pretty daily um, on Instagram, that is. Now, my only hang-up right now about Beard Addict is she doesn't produce butters as of right now. She has said that it's in, like, her, you know, coming products. And so, with that, until she does, I, I'm not a balm kind of guy. And so, therefore, I just haven't purchased her products yet. But I will say... If you guys go on to her Etsy shop, her scent profiles sound dope. And so she definitely has a way of marketing herself and a way of like, you know, making her, her products kind of stand out as far as just the, the name on them go. And so, yeah, that one's on my list. Next up, 
the Bearded Mac Grooming Co. Now, I was in their live stream a few weeks ago, really got to enjoy, you know, getting to know the owners a little bit, and they definitely seem like great people. I love the fact that they took over Whiskey and Hardtack. I have yet to purchase from the Bearded Mac after they took over Whiskey and Hardtack. So I definitely wanted to, you know, throw them on my list and let me know what you guys think about the Bearded Mac. So with all of these companies so far, I've got a ton more. I'm going to continue to read these, but I definitely want to see the comments just exploding today, guys. Let me know what you guys think about each of these companies. Let me know, have you guys tried these? Give me your thoughts, your opinions, your feedback. I would love to hear that. So moving on, Detroit Grooming Co. No, I know I'm late to the party with the with Detroit Grooming Co. I get that. I have yet to try any of their products, and I know they are an exceptional you know, company. And so, yeah, I'm just kind of late to the party on that one. I would love to try them out, and so therefore I wanted to throw them on my list. Next up, America Classic Beard Company. I don't have a whole lot I know about them, but I definitely want to check out their products as far as what they're going to be offering. I believe they're a super new company. I don't even know if they've launched yet, but I found them on Instagram and I do follow them. And so once I have more information about them, I would definitely love to check them out. But it, it seemed like a promising start. So the next one is High Mountain Beard Co. I don't know a whole lot about them either, but from what I can tell, they do offer quite a different few varieties of products, and so I wanted to make sure that I threw them on my list to, you know, remind myself, hey, you know, keep on this company and see what they have to offer. Next up is Rockaholic Grooming Company. So what interests me about them, of course, is I'm a huge, you know, music fanatic. And so therefore, I definitely want to, you know, check out more of their music inspired, you know, scent names, products, whatever. Um, so, yeah, definitely want to check them out. Next up is Slack Squatch Beards. So I don't know a whole lot about them. I do believe that they are also a newer company. And so I just wanted to throw them on here, remind myself, hey, you know, keep making sure, like, they're a company that you want to check out, you know, throw them on the list, see what they have to offer. Next up is Blue Collar Beardsman. Now, I've been keeping my eye on them for a while. I did speak to the owner once. Sorry, I feel like I got something in my eye. Um... And so I asked him, I was like, are you guys going to be, you know, doing beard butters? And he's like, yes, it's on the list for us to do. Um, probably more summer related, he said. So until they make butters, that's on my list for contingent. So next up is the Bay Area Beard Company. So I'm not too overly, you know, knowing much about Bay Area, but I know that a few of you guys have, you know, mentioned them before. And so I absolutely, you know, always keep my eye open for different companies. So I wanted to throw that one on there. Marcor Beard Company. I apologize if I said that wrong. I don't know a whole lot about them, but I did look at their products and I saw something, you know, that I really liked. And so I wanted to make sure I put them on the list. Casey Beard Co., another one I don't really know a whole lot about. I've seen some reviews. Sounds decent. So I thought I'd, you know, put it on my list and remind myself, hey, you know, see what they have to offer. The next one I don't really know much about. It's Ageless Beard Co. And I don't really, you know, have a whole lot of knowledge about them. I found them on Instagram, and so I just thought I'd throw them on here and remind myself, hey, check them out. Next one is Defined Beard Co. I have seen a lot of reviews about Defined Beard Co. I did check out their products, and so I'm always wanting to see what they had to offer. And just seeing a lot of your guys' reviews has made me want to check them out even more. And so, yeah, wanted to make sure I threw them on. This next one is 
8-Bit Beard Co. Now, I'm kind of a 90s kid, and so all the different, like, Nintendo, you know, like the throwback Nintendo type, you know, references for their products has definitely kind of piqued my interest and, and made me really want to check them out. And now the last one is Florida Boys Grooming. Now I've seen a few of you guys that are really into them, and so that's made me inspired to want to absolutely make sure I check them out as well. I hear a lot of you guys talk about how much you love them, so I'm, I'm definitely quite interested. So yeah, that's my list, you guys. Let me know what you think about all of these companies. Please feel free to shoot a comment down in the you know comment section down below. And if you have not done so yet, guys, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. I am literally two subscribers away from hitting my very first goal of 100 subscribers, you guys. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button, guys. It would mean the world to me. Also, feel free to give my content a thumbs up if you guys enjoy my videos. And so, yeah, until next time, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. Oh, and I probably won't be around until, like, next Tuesday. I have some family coming in, and so I just, you know, have other things going on. So, yeah. Hit me up in the comments section today, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And again, have a great day, guys.